the Commission has today adopted a communication on the secure uh, fifth generation uh, of mobile network deployment uh, within our European Union. Uh, with this communication, the Commission endorses the toolbox that Member States have jointly agreed upon. We can do great things with 5G. Uh, it will be a major enabler for future digital services in core areas of every citizen's life. Uh, the technology supports personalized uh, medicine, precision agriculture, enables energy grids that can integrate all different kinds of renewable energy. This will make a positive difference. We can achieve the goals that we have set ourselves. But only if we can make our networks secure. Only then will digital changes benefit every citizen. The Commission will support the implementation of the EU approach uh, to 5G cybersecurity by working to ensure a diverse and sustainable 5G supply chain for example, via the application of the foreign direct investment screening, trade defense instruments, competition rules to make sure there's no lock-in, as well as through EU funding program and their security conditionality. Furthermore, the Commission will facilitate coordinations among member states on standardization and EU-wide certification. Both our communication and the EU toolbox are based on an objective assessment of risk and a balanced set of possible measures. They apply across the board and do not target any specific country or company. At the same time, we know that the decisions of the European Union and its member states will take, um, uh, the decision that we will take, will that will matter and have an impact in the way that we relate to our partners. And we want, of course, to tackle this head-on in an open and a frank manner. La 5G, c'est une architecture complètement nouvelle en matière de télécommunication et qui va avoir à gérer, à l'horizon 2023-2024, quelque part des pans entiers de notre économie. Et, euh, des hôpitaux, ça peut être aussi des infrastructures euh, de transport, euh, ça peut être des réseaux d'énergie. Et tout ça, évidemment, va être rendu possible par le déploiement de la 5G. Et évidemment, ces éléments concernent pour beaucoup d'entre eux la souveraineté et la responsabilité des États. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle les États membres se sont mis ensemble pour dire bah, « Attendez, là, c'est plus uniquement des communications bout en bout, c'est quelque chose de beaucoup plus important » pour le déploiement, évidemment, euh, de, euh, des technologies nouvelles et des conséquences d'un point de vue industriel, mais au-delà au de ça, évidemment, sur la société dont il s'agit. Et donc, il faut qu'on ait une vision coordonnée des risques. Ils sont très stricts, ils sont assez rigoureux, mais ils sont basés, j'insiste là-dessus, que sur des critères objectifs. Je leur ai dit, sur des critères objectifs. Il n'y a aucun autre arrière-pensée. Vous ne nous entraînerez jamais à la Commission, malgré moi-même, ni quiconque, Dire qu'à travers cette approche et la communication que nous faisons aujourd'hui, on, on, on cible tel ou tel pays, telle ou telle société, ce n'est pas notre rôle. Je le redis, ce n'est pas notre rôle. Et en revanche, on a veillé, dans le dialogue singulier que nous avons eu avec les États membres, nous avons veillé à ce que cette communication, la toolbox et la communication qui va avec, c'est une communication qui doit s'inscrire dans le temps et dans le temps long. Elle est censée donner de la lisibilité à tous les acteurs. Altogether, eight strategic and 11 technical measures are identified together with the 10 supporting actions which will help member states and the Union to ensure the cybersecurity of 5G networks for the benefit of the citizens and society. The main aim of these measures is reinforcing security in design, deployment and operations of networks, raising baseline security standards for the security of products and services, 
minimizing the exposure to risk stemming from the risk profile of individual suppliers, avoiding or limiting major dependencies on any single supplier in 5G networks, and promoting a diverse competitive and sustainable market for 5G equipment, including by maintaining EU capacities in the 5G value chain. In line with their national risk assessments, member states will use the measures and mitigation plans in an efficient way to address existing security gaps, especially concerning the strengthening of security requirements for mobile operators and suppliers. It is important to maintain a diverse and sustainable 5G supply chain, avoiding dependency on only one supplier. In the implementation of mitigation plans at national level, the member state will also need to, access, to assess whether they need to cooperate with other member states or at the EU level. Some strategic measures may also require specific legislation at national level in order to fully achieve the impact of the measures. 